Back here at home now, Republicans and Democrats alike are supporting Senator John McCain as he battles brain cancer. This follows a White House staffer's comment about his health that many are criticizing as inappropriate. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O oh is live in the CBS 3 News Center this morning to tell us more about it. Anita, good morning. Good morning, Jan. Well, brain cancer is not the only thing that Senator John McCain is fighting. After speaking out against President Trump's nominee to lead the CIA, the 81-year-old is now also battling mocking comments allegedly made by a White House aide. I'm not going to comment on an internal uh, staff meeting. Though President Trump's White House refuses to deny or distance itself from a staffer's comment about ailing Senator John McCain, who is undergoing brain cancer treatment, other Republican leaders have been fast to denounce the statement. Outrageous. It's a pretty disgusting thing to say. I just wish somebody from the White House would tell the country that was inappropriate. Both Ohio Governor John Kasich and Senator Lindsey Graham responded to the comment by communications aide Kelly Sadler, who, according to sources, joked that because McCain is, quote, dying anyway, it doesn't matter that he will not endorse Gina Haspel's CIA director nomination. It was a joke. It was a, a badly considered joke, an awful joke. Budget director Mick Mulvaney described the comment as a tasteless quip, though Press Secretary Sarah Sanders confirmed Sadler is still employed. Now, this is not the only challenge for the White House lately. The president's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, claimed Trump, quote, denied the proposed merger between AT&T and Time Warner last fall. But that contradicts months of claims by the White House, which stated Trump never had a hand in that decision. For now, live in the CBS 3 News Center this morning, Anita O, oh, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Anita, thank you.